Hi. <laughs> I really don't know how to start this. I don't either. I think that's going to be the start. Is I don't know how to start. <laughs> yeah. I did notice while I was taking a break, uh, watching all the comments, you guys uh, definitely noticed I was gone. It wasn't easy to kind of, uh, I mean, I guess it was hard to miss. Every single comment. Yeah, every single comment. You guys said, where's Kato? <laughs> where's Kato? So I really appreciate you guys for like showing the love and support. Um, even when I didn't ask for it, you guys show that you care for me and that you're there for me. So thank you. You guys were freaking out and it just shows how amazing and kind and caring you guys are about us and how lucky we are to have you guys in our lives. I feel like we're some of the luckiest people in the world because of you guys. Yeah. You guys are a community that we couldn't ask more for, you know? You guys are there when we ask for it, and uh, you guys give so many good ideas and whatnot and feedback, so you guys are the true heroes in the story. There are a lot of rumors going around. <laughs> <laughs> they're kind of entertaining to read. <laughs> they're but. actually, they're really funny. The first one that I think is the most funny is that when I wore a red dress, because I tried on a different outfit for the first time, you guys thought that... You broke I up. I broke up because she wore a different outfit. But, you know, I was this close. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But, no, it was interesting seeing you in a different, like, I don't know why it had to be specifically red. But I feel like out of all the colors, I just I wasn't expecting red, I guess. It was weird for me. I did, I felt like my identity was lost. So we did a video with Jake from State Farm. And since I ran away at the end and you got caught by Jake, there's a rumor going around. I'm still at Jake's house. <laughs> that you're living with Jake. Yeah, me and him are homies. Yeah, I've actually been on a little retreat getaway with uh, Jake. He's pretty cool. <laughs> he is really cool. Yeah. The next one is pretty crazy. Uh, you guys thought that we were cheating on each other. We would never cheat on We would never cheat on each other. Ever. And for anyone out there that has that idea, if you have the thought, I guess, or intent of cheating, um, then you should just respectfully you know, leave that relationship, there's no point. There's also articles going around that you took a break for your mental health. That's like the biggest theory is that, you know, you're just taking a social media break, uh, which you are. You I mean, know. technically, yeah. Yeah, or that you're on a business trip. At home. <laughs> <laughs> Still gone. It's like a staycation, but stay business trip. Yeah, yeah. I just put on some uh, warm, cozy beach on the TV and just listen to the shoreline. It's great. While working. <laughs> While working, yes, of course. Oh, there's also a rumor that either me or you went to college. Yep. That's actually not a bad That's rumor. That's not a bad rumor. We, we, we probably would have told you. Yeah. A lot of people are saying you just don't want to do YouTube anymore. I don't know, who said that? Uh, people. Oh, I haven't yeah. seen that, okay. And I know you guys have been waiting for about two months to find out what the reason is for Kata being not in the videos and Kata being gone. And thank you guys for being patient with us. Like we said, we it's just a healthier for us to process through things not online versus processing through things while everybody's finding out. Thank you. And there is one more rumor I just remembered. People think that you were in the hospital because I had a hospital band on because I went to the hospital mm. and people thought I was visiting you and got the hospital band. Oh. But I actually went to the hospital for frostbite. Yeah. With everything being said, uh, with the rumors, um, with taking breaks and whatnot, and not being able to tell you guys, uh, we are now able to, you know, clear this, clear the room, um, and we had to wait for specific reasons, um, and that's why we couldn't tell you. We weren't just not telling you guys, but um, I think it's time to let them know that um, we did break up um, as a couple. Um, we're still really close as friends and care very deeply about each other. Um, but I think as individuals, when, like I said, uh, the most important thing is working on yourself. And when the other significant other doesn't provide that or um, help better themselves or the other person, I think they might need time for themselves or apart. Um, and I think that's what is best for us doesn't mean change is bad, change is good. Um, you have to learn to grow.
So, you know, I still love and care about you so much and I just want the best for you and I also want the best for me. I did move out. Kata did get in a car accident, which is why his eye is bruised and he, his car is totaled. And before you guys say anything, I am okay. No one else was involved. Uh, and thankfully no one else was involved, but uh, it wasn't anything due to the relationship. I want to make that clear that it wasn't like personal feelings that like got to me and I crashed. Um, it was just an accident. I had a blowout on the highway, so at least I'm safe. I'm okay and so on. No one else got involved, so. It was really scary though. Like when you showed me what happened, you know. I'm just lucky and happy to be safe and you know, only walk away with a scratch. It's a pretty big scratch. It's a decent scratch, but. And obviously it's just really hard because we have been together for two and a half years, you know, which is a pretty good amount of time, a big chunk of our lives, you know, we spent with each other and we, we grew and uh, we got to experience this whole YouTube with each other. For our relationship, we felt more like friends than a couple. You know, we, we both can have so much fun with each other and are super silly and everything. Some things we, we didn't really understand each other and we aren't able to give each other everything that we need in a partner and we realize that. I feel like in relationships you have to be friends, but um, because if you're not friends then uh, I'm not sure what kind of love-hate relationship that is, but. That'd be interesting. We realize that we can't change each other and you should never try to change somebody. Change is, is good. In other words, she's not saying that there's not room for change, but personally trying to change someone, yeah, that's the difference, but. Uh. Since our relationship is our career, you know, it doesn't feel right to pretend to still be in a relationship and be a couple when, you know, we don't really feel like it. We could have just kept making content together and kept pretending and kept doing that but that's lying to you guys and that's that's not right because mm -hmm. we don't we don't want to lie to you guys i think on a personal level that's also very hard to do and act that we're, we're in a relationship but we're friends so and you know for me videos are my passion making these videos for you guys literally my dream come true I wake up every day and I'm so, so lucky. And so I never want to stop making videos. I never want to stop being a YouTuber. And I think proof that like I'm in this for the long run is my uh, tattoo I got. Well, you changed your outfit, I haven't. So what shows more dedication? The tattoo. <laughs> How? <laughs> you know, I've still realized this is something that I want to do, uh, but right now it's the, it's the, what, what is it exactly that I want to do on social media? And I'm trying to figure that out. Either if it's my hobbies that I enjoy or uh, car content or gaming, it was really good content. And I, I've learned a lot from you and you guys. So that I, I, I thank you. The things, sorry, one second. Sorry. Um, yeah, so the things that I realized um, taking advantage of you wise, um, but also what I've learned from what you've done in this journey, uh, YouTube wise, you know, I think it's easy to say that uh, Alyssa is a very hard worker um, Her she's very, you know, so driven by her goals and the most uh, important thing I learned I guess is you realize the things you lose after you've already lost them. And I've learned that and I've learned a lot of things in life from this experience. But all I can say is thank you because it saves me time. Um, and like I said, with how it happened or with how it happened, it helped me realize the things that I did wrong um, and the things that I took advantage of. Most importantly, that also helped uh, open the doors to really find myself uh, and be the person that I need to be for myself 
um, but also potentially someone else. Thanks for saying all that. Didn't mean to get all emotional, but... Do you want me to put that in? Is it yeah, okay? that's okay. It's authentic. It's real. Like we were saying, um, or like what I was getting to, or um, I, maybe if you guys didn't tell, um, Alyssa could. I wasn't enjoying the the content as much or putting as much energy into it and that's when I started taking advantage of her and letting her uh, do more work and I didn't notice it uh, and even when she told me that she would like to see me improve in work aspect wise um, I'd say I'd work on it and I'd never actually take a step forward um, and I think as a person uh, for personal goals and whatnot, that I was following a path, uh, the easy path of taking advantage of Alyssa and what work she put in to uh, take, like, I guess, her goals and success and her passion and kind of take that success and be like, and take it as my, my own. And I never, and it was like crumbs. So I never really felt drive, passion, or you know, discipline or anything toward where I was losing it because I was, I was, uh, oh, I was claiming the success that wasn't necessarily mine. I was giving myself credit for the things that I didn't do. And so that's why they didn't feel wholesome or real. Uh, and, you know, even though I, I had plenty of chances, I never took the, the actual opportunity to move. And that's why I think it's going to be a, a good thing for me on my end to, for me to take my own path um, on my own and all of my goals and aspirations and do those things so I can, you know, take in that success and credit for the things that I've put in, right? You can't... Well, obviously you're so talented and I don't want you to think you're not. And, you know, it, the the jokes that you make and the the silly things that you do like don't let that go to weight like don't think that you didn't do a lot with that you know um like I said I appreciate you saying, sharing all that you don't ha you didn't have to um I just said I don't know I just said what was on my mind you know I don't want you guys to think that like that's the that's the reason that we we broke up. The main part was was our actual relationship off camera working out, um, not just like as business partners. Because what we could have done is we could have just like made separate accounts and just continued on our own and kept our relationship, but like been separate on camera. Or, you know, if you didn't want to do videos anymore, you could have gotten a job and we could have kept working on our relationship and not have been online. Um, I think personally with everything that happened um, and relationship wise and then shortly after uh, I got in the car accident, um, just a lot of emotions hit me and I needed some time on my own and to just one, try to find myself and what my goals and plans are in life. Um, so kind of in the sense of me taking a mental health break was, uh, was true. Um, make sure you go support Kata. What's your channel? Woo woo. Pink shirt guy. what do you guys think? Did you actually get the, that username? With a seven. Pink shirt guy seven. So I have pink shirt guy seven on all social medias. Uh, seven's my lucky number. God created the universe in seven days. Guy took pink shirt guy. So YouTube, <sighs> help me out if you can... Give me that, if but... A YouTube rep is watching this, please help us get <laughs> Please help us get that. <laughs> we understand that you guys need time to process, just like we needed time to process, and might need more time. <laughs> but we understand you guys will need time too, because this is going to be hard on you guys as well. And whatever choice you make, whether or not you choose to continue to watch Kata or I, or both, or, or you don't want to watch us anymore, we understand, because, you know, you guys started watching us for the Pink Shirt Couple. But if you guys continue to watch us... We greatly appreciate it. We appreciate it so much. You have to pick one of us. But it is 100... No. <laughs> <laughs> you did not hear that prep I did. <laughs> but it is 100% your choice. We never expect your guys to support or even for you guys to watch us. We just appreciate it.
What did you just say? Nothing. You got some big shoes on. I do. I have some really big shoes. Why? Because it makes me taller. <laughs> <laughs> when this happened, it's like, it's just a couple's channel. Who, who gets the accounts or do we make our own accounts? Both of us. Uh, and I did, I did offer you if you wanted to take mm -hmm. the, the accounts, the accounts um, mm -hmm. I would start on my own. But you said no. And I said no. Because um, of, like I said, the things that I thought I took advantage of or whatnot. Um, I think that with somewhat of a, more of a passion towards YouTube that I know that she has, I think that she deserves it more. So um, whether if you guys want her to start on her own as well or on the Pink Shirt Couple account, it's whatever you, whatever you want. So yeah. If you guys don't think I should post on this account and I make a new account, let me know. Comment down below. So actually, I'm deciding to change my name to Pink Shirt Single for now. That's a good one. It's Pink Shirt Single. You want pink shirt ready to... Nope. No! <laughs> uh, oh, um, are you actually going to change it to pink shirt single? Are <laughs> you being serious? I feel like it would actually kind of, one, people either think it's a joke, but it's not. <laughs> So, pink shirt guy or pink shirt single? That's up to you. Are you are you making your username pink shirt single? What is it called when your husband dies? Is that called a widow? Yeah. Oh, pink shirt widow. No, no, what? dude, there was dying. Pink shirt divorced. We didn't get divorced. <laughs> pink shirt X. <laughs> I can see the headlines. Pink shirt couple is now pink shirt single. <laughs> well, if I change the name to pink shirt single, people are gonna be like, oh yeah, it's. 100%. They don't have to research anything. They just, yep, he's single now. Gives them what they need in the first three seconds. They're like, single. Got it. Not that I'm ready to be in a relationship. Maybe um, I should be pink, sh pink shirt, single, not ready for a relationship. Are you going to continue to wear that outfit for the rest of your life? Honestly, I don't know. I mean, I mean the wearing the same outfit aspect actually isn't that bad. Like it, it's, people don't understand. It's like, it's just, it's, it's a hiccup. You don't have to think about what you have to wear or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but the other aspect is, yeah, you're wearing pink every day, right? So for the time being, yes. I really like pink, so I wouldn't mind wearing this for the rest of my life. Yeah, because we, d we did make merch uh, and it just took a long time it's to gonna make. It's going to be in a month. It's a pink shirt on a pink shirt. On, on the pink, pink shirt. shirt. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> Mine's not a pink polo on a pink polo on a pink polo. Better than ever. Well, the pink shirt couple is now pink shirt single. Don't forget to follow Kata at that username. If you can't find it, it's probably because I changed it to pink shirt guy seven. <laughs> you subscribe! <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe! <laughs> For the next video! Oh my gosh. And turn off the notification bell. Could have had a V8.